Hi people of the world, I'm Alex and while I'm in quarantine and self-isolation because of the coronavirus uh, I'm going to do my first question and answers Q&A video So let's go with the YouTube questions that you put me in my first video So let's start This question is by Enric Trucker and he says Who is your favorite composer? Okay, it's a really uh, interesting question uh, because I can't say specifically that is my favorite composer totally but I could say that my three favorite composers at the moment are Beethoven, Rachmaninoff and Debussy so next question this girl made me two questions and she's Maria and the first question she made me is what motivated you to play classical piano okay that's a very long story but if I have to summarize all of that in just one sentence I could say that I fell in love with the classical music and wanting to play classical piano uh, was um, in 2017 when I went to a piano recital and the pianist uh, was playing Stampers by Tevesi and I fell in love with that piece so since of then I wanted to play piano with classical music so I think that's the beginning, beginning, beginning of everything. And the second question that Maria made is what's your routine when it comes to practicing new pieces? Okay, that's a really interesting question. So uh, I don't have uh, a really specific tips because every piece is different. But uh, when I start a new piece, I make the, a full type reading from start to the end so slowly and paying attention about melodies, about how my hands have to work, what's the main idea of the piece and after that I made a short uh, sight reading until I made my first mistake and I tried to work with that Okay, next question is by Palomita uh, He or she asked me uh, Do you play more instruments? Do you have a favorite piano concerto? Keep going, okay, thank you Yes, I know, I mean in the professional way or academic uh, way. I just play piano, I just study piano, but in terms of more personal and just a hobby, I play violin and guitar, but I don't play violin since two years, one year and a half, and I just play guitar to play some chords when I want to sing with my friends or here in my home, so, so I could say that I'll just only play piano. Uh, I never took lessons of guitar or violin and yes I have a favorite concerto, I have two favorites. The first one is the concerto number two by Rachmaninoff. It's amazing concerto and probably I will make a video about it because that concerto has so many interesting things that I've been discovering and the another favorite piano concerto is the Mendelssohn uh, piano concerto number one in G minor. The last question here in YouTube is by Joel and he asked me what pieces are you currently playing? Okay, thank you for the question because I just wanting to, to say that here. Okay, so I'm currently playing Prelude and Fugue uh, in F minor by Bach. I will put the code here and I'm playing uh, the Chopin Etude Opus 10 number no. 1 in C major. I'm playing the Beethoven Sonata Opus 22 number no. 11 in B flat major. I'm playing by Debussy from the first book of the Preludes, the number 3. I will put the name here because I don't know how to pronounce French, so... And finally, from the Six Moment Music House by Rachmaninoff, I'm playing the fourth, that it's a presto. So now we're going to the Instagram question, that if you don't follow me on Instagram, you will have here my username to follow me there. Okay, so one thing, I could not put the usernames of the people who made me the questions, but the first question in Instagram is by Nuria Prats, because I know her, she's one of my friends, and and I loved um, the question she made and that question is what piece would you like to play at some stage of your life? I loved that question so much so thank you Nuria. Um, I don't want to put a goal, a life goal about playing some pieces because I think it's putting me pressure but I would like to play at some stage of my life the uh, concerto number two by Rachmaninoff, the concerto number one by Mendelssohn, Stampus by Debussy, another piece by Liszt that I can't remember the name uh, properly so I will put 
here in the screen the name exactly the name because I don't remember the name right now the next question is how much time do you spend every day studying piano okay first of all um, I'm not saying that you have to put these hours playing an instrument or studying an instrument I think that everyone is different we're humans so uh, play what you want it's not a problem it's not better doing five hours and two hours it's not quantity it's more quality of the study so answering the question i spend in my good days and normal days eight hours seven eight hours a day and in my low low days i just spend on two or four hours not more there are days that i just can't spend one hour there are days i can't spend even an hour because i don't feel with that energy or i don't feel really good it's kind of relative i don't have a schedule to say that okay today it's eight hours and tomorrow it's like five hours next question how do you find your motivation to practice when you feel sad or down okay that's a good question i think that the first thing when you feel down or low, uh, it's not to force you to play or study because you are in a state of mind that it's not good that moment. So my tip that I do is uh, try to find some emotional support from your family, parents, uh, friends. At, at the beginning of this month, I was feeling so low. I was having a rough time and I had a really really long conversation about how I was feeling and why or trying to find the whys that I was feeling in that mode. It's a uh, emotional support that it helped me a lot and in another way when I play piano it's my way to avoid all the problems so if I spend four hours playing the piano when I'm feeling low so those means that if I spend four hours at the piano are four hours that I'm not thinking about problems or I'm not thinking about the things that put me down. So next question is what's your favorite composition you are currently playing right now? Okay, I could say two. Uh, the first is the Rachmaninoff Presto by Six Moments Musical and the second one my Beethoven Sonata that is the Opus 22 number 11 in B flat major. I love that two pieces and yeah. So yeah, uh, another thing before leaving is that I don't want to known as a YouTuber. I want to known as a pianist and YouTube is just a portal I have to share all the classical stuff, all the classical world. And yeah, and if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to make me more questions right here down below, if you want to see something specific about music here, comment here and down below and follow me on instagram so yeah see you in the next one bye